Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And today I have a Regroover Pro quick tip for you. It's how to one export super easy and also how to get multiple outs from Regroover Pro into your DAW. I'm working Ableton Live, but these techniques are gonna be very similar in whatever DAW you're using. Simple to do and very, very powerful. So the first thing we gotta do is make sure our project BPM is at the right BPM. I've got 85 here. The drum loop I'm gonna be using is 85. So I can just click, drag and drop and let Regrover Pro analyze it. And the first thing we should do is preview it to make sure everything sounds okay. So it doesn't sound okay. And that's because it is doubled the BPM here. Simple enough to fix, just gotta hit half it by two. That sounds right, let's preview it. Okay, so that's perfect. We don't really need this one. You can obviously see visually that there's not a lot of information here, but let's solo it just to hear what is there. Okay, so it sounds like sort of transient information from the kick. So we want to move this information back into the kick just so the kick is absolutely full and perfect, right? We don't want to get rid of this information, but we also don't want to leave it on its own channel. So the way to do that inside of Regrover Pro is to use the split control. So if I click right here, and then I double click inside of here, I'm gonna get this green highlighted area. I'm gonna go ahead and drag those sides over to cover the entire channel here. And I wanna split this into the kick channel. So if I just hit split right here, Regrover Pro is just going to move that information wherever it deems best. And instead of relying on kind of a you know roll of the dice here, what I can do is lock channel one with the snare and lock channel four with the hi-hats. And now when I hit split, it's going to force that information into the kick channel, which is exactly where I want it to go. Okay, so let's solo again. And the channel is quiet. That's exactly what we're looking for. And now the kick information has been moved to the kick and it should sound a little bit better. Perfect. Okay, so now I have my snare, my kick, and my hats. To get these stems out to wave format, go ahead and leave split mode. And let's come up here to the export menu. You can see here I can export the layers. I can export the layer mix down, a pattern mix down, marker selections, or marker selections pattern. There's also the ability to export the expansion kit pads which is down here. I'm gonna do a separate video on those, so we're gonna skip that for now. But if you want to get your wave files here, if you've made any changes to the balance, you just wanna go ahead and the layers mix down. But if you actually want the individual stems, go ahead and select layers. That's pretty straightforward. But another really, really cool thing about Regover Pro is the ability to have multiple outputs. So I can send all of these channels into their own channels in my DAW very, very easily. So layer three, where it says out right here, if I click, I'm gonna to go to out two, and layer four, I'm gonna to go to out three. Now, I'm doing it two, three here because this is empty, but we might want to you know, leave it on two. If we're gonna be using Regrover Pro you know, a couple of times, we might wanna do it on you know, just obviously the layer four, I wanna to go to out four. And that will make the most sense if we process another drum loop. And there is some audio information here on layer two. So it's, you know, preference there. Let's come in here and add three more audio channels. And where it says EXT in, you wanna come down to Regover Pro. And then in the second menu, you wanna come down to the number of the channel. So Regover Pro two, Regover Pro, Regrover Pro 3, Regrover Pro, Regrover Pro 4. And now if I play this audio, you'll see that we're getting information. So we have one further step to do, and that is change it to in. And now you can see here that I'm actually getting these different channels on their own channels in my DAW. Now, why might you wanna do this? 
Now I can process those stems or those individual channels using my third party and built in Ableton Live devices to do whatever I want. If I want to add reverb, compression, gating, anything, I can do it inside of my DAW using whichever plugins that I want. Not only that, but I can go ahead and record this audio information inside of my DAW to get my stems that way. And really it's just an extra level of control that you now have because of the power of Regover Pro. Okay, so there you go. I hope you learned something about Regover Pro today. There's gonna be a link in the video description if you wanna check it out. I'm Joshua Casper here from Plugin Boutique, and I'll see you in the next video.